Okay, I think we're recording now. And so our this lab is actually pretty simple. And like I say, in it, in the paperwork, there is no wrong. So really, all you want to do is go to, say, Illustrator. We're going to start a new document. And we usually get this prompt asking, well, what kind of new do you want? And we have you no know, mobile web print presets. The print presets are all listed in points as opposed to inches, but this 612 by 792 points is in fact 8.5 by 11. So you can just go ahead and click that, give it a title name that's actually your name, and lab1. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that, then hit create, and it has to think for a minute. Ah, there we are. Okay, so now we have our artboard. The artboard is just your basic canvas. It's like um, an easel, a sheet of paper. Yeah, think of it however you want. It's called an artboard. Okay, so the fundamentals of the self-portrait is that you would come over here to the left side, grab a rectangle tool, or actually maybe hold down the rectangle tool and come down to the ellipse. Any of the tools on the left-hand side, if they have a little triangle in their bottom right corner, that means there's a pull-down menu underneath it. So that's how you get to the ellipse tool. And I'll just go ahead and yeah, we'll just say my head looks like that. Yeah, I'm fatter than that, but yeah, we'll make that work. Okay, it's white, and white on white gets you nothing. So I'm going to come over here to the right side and go to Properties. Go to my fill color, and I'll give it, now. I don't know, what's a good color? That, a good neutral. You know, there is no good color for for me anyway. So anyway, I'll just, I'll go with something green. Yeah, I'll be green today. All right, so now I've got this fill, and I need to come back up here to my top of the toolbar to the direct, or the selection tool, or in this case, the direct selection tool. And with the direct selection tool, I can double click on these anchor points. I can change the shape of this. I can probably make it more like my head. <laughs> oh, we could do terrible things with this. Anyway, um, but nonetheless, we'll just, I think this is going to stop looking like me. Well, it already did. Uh, anyway, so you can change your shapes. Now, you might want to go back to your rectangle tool or ellipse tool or polygon tool, whatever. Oh, actually, let's go to the star tool. And we'll make some stars. Just click and drag. And now you might want to change the colors of these. Now, it's only going to change the color of the one that is selected. So, you need to go back to your, select your selection tool. Click on the, you'll click on that and select the other star and change the color of that also. And with your selection tool selected, um, you can then move things around. You can also make it smaller. So I'm gonna just move my stars into place and I'm kind of looking like a potato head here. But uh, yeah, that's okay. Like I say, there is no wrong. I'll go to the paintbrush and I'll give myself a, I don't know, a red smile. And, yeah, well, that didn't do anything. So what I need to do, what that means is that I need to select it and change that color because that turns out to be a stroke. The paintbrush creates a stroke, which is different from a fill. Um, we'll talk about that in some of the other videos, and we talked about it in class the other day, too. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because this video needs to be fast and done. So here we have my horrible self-portrait. Our next step is to save it. Go to File and Save. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you save it in the native Adobe Illustrator format. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'll just call it Your Name Lab 1. I hit Save. And I'll click through the prompts for now and say OK. And boom, we're done. Now, if I hide this for a second, you'll see that, let's see, where is it? Here we are. Here we have the file. It is a .ai file right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my Illustrator. Here it is. 
Now I want to create a PDF. And this time we just go to Save As. And down here in Format, we change this to Adobe PDF. The name stays the same, but you'll see the extension, the dot, what comes after the dot is the extension, is now PDF. I'll click Save on that and go through the prompts and just say OK. And now I should have also on my desktop the actual PDF. Now, the PDF is something you can email to somebody and they won't be able to change it. The Illustrator file is something they can change if they have Illustrator. There's many, many, many reasons to use PDF, um, some of which we've talked about in class already, uh, but others that will just keep coming up pretty much all semester. So anyway, let's look at the size of these things. The PDF is 777 kilobytes. The Illustrator file, oops, is, I did that wrong. Oops, hold on. Oh, go away. I'll make that hide. Let's do that again. Command I is how you get your info. So the Illustrator file is actually 1.6 megabytes. So the sizes of these things vary de depending on the format also. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That's the gist of it. Um, for your lab assignment, you're going to take this PDF and upload that to the Titanium entry where you upload your project. All right? So that's that, and good luck. Bye.